He said, sunshine, enough. You've got to find your own way. And he put the phone down. And that was it. I didn't, I didn't know what I was going to do. I am Dan Warburton, a transformational coach who's known for having enabled thousands of entrepreneurs and business owners to succeed in extraordinary ways. I've also got web spaces full of testimonials backing this up, and I'm often invited to speak to audiences of thousands around the world about what transformation makes possible. I now get to live an extraordinary lifestyle, and I want you to be able to experience the same. Today, I'm going to talk about your financial circumstances and that however bad they are, it does not dictate how your financial future is going to be. And today, I'm going to show you why it's important that you just keep going and stay committed to your dreams, goals and ambitions. So, all my life, all I ever wanted to do was become financially free, to have more money coming in than I needed to fund my dream lifestyle without having to work or without having to borrow or beg for it from other people. Funny thing is, a lot of my life, that's exactly what I've had to do. I've literally had to beg for money. I remember I was in a small flat in Brighton and I was in this relationship with a, a wonderful Indian lady at the time. In fact, we were together for eight years. And I was trying to make it as a DJ the truth is, is however hard I worked, I just couldn't become financially successful through DJing. You know, it's totally possible if you go for it, but it's not gonna happen overnight. And I was in that not overnight phase. And I said to her, I, 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 haven't, I haven't got any money, can, can you help me? And she said, look, you know, I wanna go on holiday I want to do all these things that couples do. You know, I want us to be able to travel to new places. I, I want you know, us to be able to celebrate birthdays and Christmases and, and buy our families presents. And I said, I know, I know. And, and, and we're going to get there. I absolutely know it. I just need a bit of money. C can, you, can you lend me some? So I had to beg my girlfriend for money. And then there was another situation where... I'd got to a point where I, I'd ended in that relationship, my DJing career hadn't taken off, and I was at home and I hardly had anything to eat, and there was no way I could afford to pay my rent on the next month. And so I picked up the phone to my dad and I said, Dad, I know that you've helped me a lot in the past and you've given me a lot of money and you've paid for my education and, and everything like that, and I know I haven't done so well. And at the same time, I'm more committed and determined to succeed than ever. But right now, I'm in a difficult situation. Could you lend me some money? And he'd already lent me a lot. In fact, I was also on debt on credit cards by about 26,000 pounds. And I was just in debt everywhere. And I didn't know what I was gonna do. And, and the last resort was calling my father. And it was a last resort because the one man I wanted to make proud was my father. The one person I wanted to impress with my success was my father and it just wasn't happening. He said, sunshine, enough. You've got to find your own way. And he put the phone down. And that was it. I didn't, I didn't know what I was going to do. So there I was. My experience was I didn't have money. I didn't have enough money to pay for anything. I didn't know what I was going to do. And that stress drove me to a deep, deep sense of determination, shall we say. I won't say it was from the most healthy place, but I was determined. So I wrote out on a little flyer all the services that I could offer to somebody in their homes, like dog walking, car washing, window cleaning, painting, decorating, things like that. And I made these flyers and photocopied them and knocked on doors in the freezing cold, but I carried on going, carried on going, carried on going, carried on going. And in the end, people started to open the doors every so often. I'd leave them a flyer, then my phone began to ring. And in the end, I grew this business and I had money coming in. I had my own cash. I wasn't relying on anyone on anything. I was waking up when I wanted, I was going to bed when I wanted. And I was really just being able to say yes to the jobs that I wanted to do and no to the other jobs I didn't want to do. And I did it. 
And now, fast forward to where I am now. Now, I'm traveling the world. I get to speak to audiences all over the world. And in fact, in the last three months, I've closed round about 120,000 pounds from the stage. So that's not bad. That's quite good going. You know, on top of that, I've got my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients that I create. So my mindset is still the same. My mindset hasn't altered all that much because I knew that I had to stay in action consistently for results to show. Now the results just hadn't shown. And there's a law of the universe that it takes time for these things to show. There's a law to it, it doesn't happen overnight. So if you're dealing with a really challenging financial situation, you've got to simply get super, super focused You've got to cut out all the things that waste your time. You've got to cut out all the relationships that don't serve you or empower you to keep going to fulfill your dreams, goals and ambitions or become financially free. And you need to get super focused and pick one thing with 100% commitment. Doing that is going to have you stay consistently in action. And that's going to be the thing that's going to have you actually succeed faster than anything else. If you've got an entrepreneurial friend, then make them feel special by sharing this video with them. Also, feel free to contact me about anything. And don't forget, if you're truly committed to succeed, then hit that subscribe button.